And I want what's best for Iowa and what's best for all of us. A former news anchor and state senator, Democrat Liz Mathis, says she wants to take her experience to Congress. I served for 10 years in the Iowa State Senate doing a lot of work around uh, health care policy, around uh, public safety, education, uh, you name it, I had my fingerprints on it. And Mathis argues she's ready to get to work on issues she says are top of mind for Northeast Iowans. Making sure that uh, we're not near inflation, that our costs are low, making sure that our reproductive rights are protected, making sure that Medicare and Social Security stay in place, that education is number one again, that we have access to health care, that there are mental health beds for our children. And so those are the things that I would be working on and I'd be very focused on. She's running for Iowa's new second congressional district, hoping to unseat Republican Ashley Henson. It's an area that's flipped between Democrats and Republicans the last two elections. Clearly there are you know, voters all, all along the political spectrum. If you were elected, how would you represent all Iowans, even those who you know, may passionately disagree with you on politics? I think my record proves itself that I would work for anyone. I would provide resources for them, certainly um, guide them to where there might already be help, but also to listen to them and to make sure that uh, we are providing the health care that they need. We're providing the education they need and for their children. And we're providing the jobs and the availability of jobs for them. So that doesn't take on a political party. Mathis says she wants to take District 2 in a new direction. I know I can do better. And that's why I'm running. Liz Mathis grew up on a farm in eastern Iowa. She studied journalism at the University of Iowa and then spent decades behind the anchor desk in eastern Iowa. She went on to work at Four Oaks, a nonprofit helping kids with mental health issues before she was elected to the state Senate in 2011. We introduced you to her opponent, Republican incumbent Ashley Hinson, last night. If you miss any of this content on air, you can find all of our election coverage online at kcci.com election 2022. Stacey.